Hello everyone, I hope you had a wonderful spring break and a great week with your students back in the school-based pathway or in the online academy. As I begin the update for this week, I want to take a moment to share our support for our Asian students, colleagues, families, friends, and all others impacted by the recent mass murder in the Atlanta area and acts of violence against the Asian, Asian American, and Pacific Islander communities. In the past year, there have been nearly 3,800 incidents against members of these communities. We are here to support anyone who is struggling with these tragedies. As you know, the Board of Education has taken a strong anti-racism stance, adopting a resolution in June of 2020 committing to eliminate racism, social injustice, bias, and bigotry in our school community. This is an essential part of our mission of challenging and supporting every student every step of the way. I want to provide a couple of COVID-related updates for you today as well. Thank you again to all the families who came out on Monday to pick up free COVID-19 rapid at-home test kits for your students. This voluntary program was a proactive way to identify positive cases before students came back to school. The medical advisory team encouraged us to remind everyone that each kit does have an expiration date so please make sure to use those before that date. We will also be making these free rapid test kits available for pickup only from our school nurses for any family who wishes to test their child at home due to symptoms or quarantine. You can reach out to the school nurse or your COVID nurse coordinator with your student's test results and with questions about these kits. And that leads to my next update on the new quarantine guidance that we're now following. During spring break, we received an updated guidance document from the Ohio Department of Health, which is posted on our website. Franklin County Public Health has also adopted these changes, and their guidance is also posted. We've been through many changes with quarantine protocols this school year, and I wanted to provide a separate video to go over this new guidance, and you can find the link to that video in my email. I have two updates that are related to our planning for next school year. First, we're trying to gauge how many families may be interested in an entirely online learning option for the 2021-2022 school year. In my email, you'll find a link to a survey. Please complete it if you think you may want online learning as an option for your student this fall. Second, I want to strongly encourage any families who want to register their students for kindergarten this fall to please complete that process as soon as possible. We are incredibly excited to launch full day, all day kindergarten for Upper Arlington students beginning this fall. Completing the registration process now will help us with planning and staffing so we can provide the best possible experience for each student. And it'll help families get their preferred time for a kindergarten screening appointment. And finally, as we continue our celebration of Women's History Month, I want to tell you about a Franklin County woman who, in November of 2018, became the first Asian American woman elected to the Ohio Senate. Senator Tina Maharath was inspired to dedicate her life to public service because of her upbringing as the daughter of refugee parents from Laos, a country in Southeast Asia. She's a native of Whitehall and currently serves that community and several other areas of Franklin County as a first-term senator. She was also recently selected to serve in the leadership role of Minority Whip. Before becoming a state senator, Maharath was involved in Columbus's annual Asian Festival and Ohio's Asian American and Pacific Islander Legislative Day. That does it for my update this week. Please see my email for additional updates. Have a great weekend, and as always, Go Bears!